again, National Agency, ICT.
Affirming our heroic heritage, renew our spirit of revolution and resilience. Daitoy Tibantawa, commemorating the fable of the Khan of Rangers, reminding us that we are capable of leading this generation to
Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Amy R. Marcos, accompanied by Philippine Director, Police Superintendent Cesar de los Reyes Pasigüe. Pasagap buwan tayo iso dati na baga asip.
ทำเป็นโนโนจ้าครับบ๊าYour Albert. Every government officials, and each time is always a moment we hold, where power and authority emanating from the people. Are formally vested in the women and men who have a life of service. This year, is in no small terms, the Philippine Senate, a rare gem in another season, an outstanding Ilocano leader. We partake in the joy of having our beloved Senator Jaime Marcos elected to the Philippine Legislature's. Upper Chamber. Here in the province, we witness a new era. Younger generations respond to the call of leadership with Governor Mastros Manoto serving as our governor. The choice for this joyful and momentous day is not lost on us. Our beloved hometown's name resonated in the national consciousness when, on December 30, 1965, President Ferdinand E. Marcos, whose monument here served as witness to this glorious event, took his home as the 10th President of the Philippines. A few decades earlier, Batak gave the nation heroes and patriots, among them Bishop Gregorio Aguilar, 
founder of the Philippine Independent Church, and General Artemio Ricarte, father of the Philippine Army. As home of great leaders and seat of heroic heritage of the Ilocano, a fertile soil to realize history is short of monumental. President Marcos once told, no matter how strong and dedicated the leader may be, must find root and he alone cannot he may guide the tone. He may dedicate himself and risk his life people may save Apolakai faith in our people. This faith is our people, a faith we all share. Faith in their resolve to chart their destiny. Faith in their wisdom and discernment to choose leaders who will be at the forefront in shaping history led us to the inauguration that brought us all together at the feet of this monument. A monument that proclaims with equal parts of pride and hope. Daitoy Tibanawak. This is the dawn of a new day. A dawn of peace, prosperity, and social justice. A day that offers us the opportunity to respond anew to the challenge made by President Marcos in his inaugural speech five, day, five decades and four years ago an enabling challenge to our people he had so much faith in. Not one hero alone do I ask from you, but many, nay all. I ask all of you to be the heroes of our nation, offering all our efforts to our Creator. We must drive ourselves to be great again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your cherished presence in our humble place as we collectively to the greatness that is the heritage of the Ilocano. In the city of Batak, Diyos de Aguina, and the army.
The date is owed of office as Congressman of the Second District is the outgoing Vice Governor of Ilocos Norte, serving three consecutive terms. Ladies and gentlemen, Ilocos Norte Second District Congressman Angelo Marcos Parva, together with Barangay Captain Norman Kalawagan, the youngest Barangay Captain of Ilocos Norte.
Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Matthew Marcos Manoto, Vice Governor Cecilia Araneta Marcos, and the Provincial Board Members as they take their oath to be administered by Associate Justice Diosdado M. Peralta, 162nd Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. Please uh, raise your right hand and follow after me. I. I please state your names. Matthew Joseph Marcos. Having been elected to the position of. Do you hereby solemnly swear? Do hereby solemnly swear? That I and faithfully discharge. To the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, the duties of my present position, the duties of my present position, and of all others I may hereafter hold under the Republic of the Philippines, and of all others I may hereafter hold under the Republic of the Philippines, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will obey the laws, legal orders, and decrees. That I will obey the laws, legal orders, and decrees. Promulgated by the duly authorities of the Republic of the Philippines. Promulgated by the duly constituted authorities of the Republic of the Philippines. And that I impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily. Without mental reservation, without mental reservation, purpose of evasion, or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you.
Masambayan tayo, Dagiti Mayor, DC Mayor, Ken Konsehal Manipod, Tina Dumaduma as Siyudad, Ken Munisipalidad, Iti Probinsya tayo, Italuan ni Governor Matthew Marcos Manotok, Tipinag sa Patada. Please raise your right hand. Place your left hand on the Bible. And repeat after me. I, please state your name. Having been elected to the position of, please state your position. Do hereby solemnly swear that I will well and faithfully discharge to the best of my ability the duties of my present position and of all others I may hereafter hold under the Republic of the Philippines that I will support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will obey the laws, legal orders, and decrees promulgated by the duly constituted authorities of the Republic of the Philippines. <coughs> and that I impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily without mental reservation and purpose of evasion. So help me God. Congratulations. Intayomet saksian, iti panag sapata, iti iti bise mayor ken konsehal manipod din na duma duma asudat ken municipalidad iti probinsya tayo. Idalawan ko nen ni Governor Matthew Marcos Manoto ti pinagsapatada. Idawat tayo ang tumakder apo ni iti Vice Mayor Ken Concejales tayo. state your name. Having been elected to the position of, please state your position. Do hereby solemnly swear that I will will and faithfully discharge to the best of my ability the duties of my present position and of all others, I may hereafter hold under the Republic of the Philippines. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will obey the laws legal orders and decrees promulgated by the duly constituted authorities of the Republic of the Philippines. And that I impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Congratulations.
It is our great honor to present the Governor of the Province of Ilocos Norte, Matthew Marcos Manoto. Just a minute, na imbaga bigat. First and foremost, I'd like to greet uh, the different officials who are here. Uh, thank you uh, all for joining us. I know some of you have to, to take your oath, but the others have traveled um, quite a distance, and uh, we thank you for joining us this morning. I'd like to greet and thank our Associate Justice, Justado Peralta, Fellow Ilohano, thank you for coming home. And of course, we have our uh, very own uh, Senator and outgoing Governor, Aimee Marcos. And our former First Lady and Congresswoman, Imelda Marcos. The real Vice President. Bongbong Bong Marcos. Our Vice Governor, Cecil Marcos. Greggy and Irene Araneta. My father, uh, a rare sight in Ilocos. Thanks for coming, Dad. Tommy Manoto. Coach Tommy. PBA Hall of Famer. Yun pala yung dapat na introduction. Um, of course, uh, my siblings, my brothers, uh, Mike and Kara, and Porgy and Carla. Uh, thank you for coming. I'd also like to greet our Most Reverend Orlando Cardinal Quevedo and our Most Reverend Renato Mayupa, our Chinese Consul, our dear friends from China, led by Consul Zhao Yo Bin. Thank you, sir. Secretary Mark Villar, RD Romel Tan, and the whole team from the DPWH. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'd also like to greet all of the uh, fellow governors, the congressmen. Uh, we have Congressman Anthony Marino. All the mayors, uh, local and visiting, uh, congratulations. We also have the regional director, uh, PP Jen Joel Sabio. Ordonia, General Henry Robinson, and our PD, Cesar Osiwen. Of course, all of our uh, vice mayors as well, our uh, Bojals, our SP members, um, our Punong Barangays, our SP members, our Barangay officials, all of our uh, PGIN family, our department heads and employees, the NGAs, NGOs, and all of the uh, Kerry Yan coordinators from Cebu, Quezon City, and Davao. Uh, thank you for joining us. And all of our barangay and provincial coordinators, our friends from the media, and to everyone. Uh, very good morning. Naimbag abigat. Yun na po yan, ubos na po yung Ilocano ko. Pasensya na po. Awanin. Welcome to Batak, uh, which plays a historic role as the bastion of leadership in our province. On this hallowed ground, we remember the rich legacy of Ilocano leaders and appreciate all they have done for our beloved province. We thank our Senator 
Aimee Marcos for making Ilocos Norte livable, sustainable, and resilient. A greater home for every Ilocano. Your accomplishments in the past nine years will continue to drive us forward. Nalutas natin ang labis na kahirapan at nakapagbigay ng maraming oportunidad. Paniwala sa karapatan ng kabataan, sa kalidad na edukasyon, libo-libong kabuhayan ang lumago dahil sa turismo. Bumilis ang pagtugon sa pangailangan ng mga Ilocano at ang mga pangunahing serbisyo ng Kapitolyo ay umabot maging sa pinakamalayong pook. Recently, we passed the Provincial Ordinance institutionalizing everybody's favorite, the Capital Express, for the inclusive and rapid delivery of government services and resources to our kailian. Ituloy tayo nga idanon dagiti kasapulan a serbisyo kadigiti kailian tayo. Just yesterday, we broke ground on our big three infrastructure projects. The construction of the provincial capital expansion, the reconstruction of the Dapayan food park, and the total rehabilitation of the Ferdinand E. Marcos Memorial Stadium. We look forward to making our city and town centers greener and more walkable with more quality public spaces for all. With the established and continuing programs of the provincial government of Ilocos Norte, we have truly proven that the Ilocano is more than equipped to take on greater challenges. Narimat iti masakbayan tayo amin. We are determined to assist our agrarian sector by promoting productivity, innovative practices, and farmer welfare. We will improve our irrigation facilities, support road projects for the efficient transport and trade of local produce to our markets, optimize our yield through major cash crops, revitalize our arable lands through organic farming, attend to our agri-entrepreneurs, and expand our partnerships with other LGUs, particularly for our producer-to-consumer program. Likewise, we will streamline our health care and ensure affordable access to quality health care for all Ilocanos. No iti salun at ket sigurado umili, ket productivo. We will upgrade our hospitals and our rural health units, employ additional health practitioners, and enhance our public health programs. We commit to further develop the province by investing in the health of our people. Our people will always be our greatest asset and strength. Salun at asigurado umili productivo. Today, on this overcast morning, I come to you not only as your leader, but as your peer, as your equal, and perhaps most importantly, as your fellow Ilocano. And I ask that you join me and you help me in this march towards a greater Ilocos Norte. Agbiag Ilocos Norte. Just the Agdina.
Kakailian, iti ay ayaten tayo as senador, Aimee R. Marcos. Sakbay tayo pangiganti, mensahe ti senador tayo, ket mesa nga presentasyon, hinarimat asir mata. Kakailian, intayo, sarabwente, ay aten tayo, Senador Aimee R. Marcos. Unemployed, 
our Vice President, Bong Bong. Of course, we have our uh, new governor, uh, Matthew, our beloved First Lady Forever, Imelda, and of course, all our new old officials, indeed, whose day is today. Uh, we have Angelo, Michael, Cecil, and all the rest who are here this morning. Our mayors, the city mayor of Lawag, Michael, our host mayor, my mayor of Patak City, Albert Chua, our Lolo Cardinal, Cardinal Most Reverend Orlando Quevedo, and our homeboy from the Supreme Court, soon to be the Chief Justice Jostado M. Peralta. Consul Zhou Youbin and the representatives from the People's <laughs> Republic of China, and the most important person as far as all the mayors and governors are concerned, Secretary Mark Villar of both the Nationalista Party, but more importantly, of the public works. Marami pong pipila dyan, Mamiang Conte. So maraming salamat po, Governor Elias Bulot, Congressman Anton, Mayor Jeff Soriano, our Regional Directors, Visiting Mayors, Elmer Datuin, and the rest of my coordinators. Agbiag ti Cordillera! Agbiag ti Kabataang Barangay! Andito pa ang ating mga Kabataang Barangay na dahil sa kanila, tayo ay namayagpag. I would like to introduce as well our friends and relatives from Sambuanga na binitbit ni Cecil para sa aming lahat. At narito, palakpan po natin ang mga taga-Sambuanga. Last but not least, of course, are the Cebuano troop. I would just like to make it of record that I won in Cebu City, Dad. You didn't. We won in Cebu because of the mama ladies, because of Betsy, Jeff, and all the rest of our brilliant coordinators. Maraming maraming salamat. Daghan salamat sa inyong atanan. Umulat ni Amin. Dito ay ilokos, kaya't kuman, tiagyaman, tinapalaos nga support tayo. Kada kami, iti napalabas nga eleksyon. Pudnulaing ako, may may siya tayo, a probinsya. May may siya nga solid north. May may siya nga NCR, ang secret Marcos vote sa National Capital Region. Maraming maraming salamat for this overwhelming victory, your generous and unstinting support. Iti unek ti siya matawin, kinagwada, anang sango iti adu akarin. Kadagiti riga, nga intayo linakam, gapo kadagiti didigra. Kinaming tayo, kadagiti problema, apalagkuran ti apit kendanong. Insagana tayo, dagiti kasapulan, no adatika, layus, ken sabsabali pa yung aditigra. In baba tayo, iti bilang dagiti marigriga, ken inakan tayo, ti pagubraan, ken oportunidad, ti turismo, ken ti business processing, dagiti kailyan tayo. Nagunod tayo, dagito'y gapu, iti pinakakamayet tayo sa andak nga inbati, sa andak pulos a binaybayan when no tinalikudan. We have done in the last nine years what everyone said was impossible to do. But like good Ilocanos, we declared a one, the impossible. They said it was not possible to bring poverty levels down in a province so small, so remote, so far from any metropolis or any economic zone. Today, we have poverty levels 
lower than Metro Manila, lower even than Southern Tagalog. They said Ilocos Norte was too far for any tourist to come over. They said there would never be call centers or any kind of knowledge economy. We have proven them wrong. Three million come trooping to Ilocos year on year dahil sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much indeed for your abiding faith and belief in me. Even when I wasn't certain which direction we were going and if in fact we would succeed. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong tiwala sa akin. At talaga naman, Diyos unay, ti Agnina kisuportayo, ti Team Marcos, ng Runa can buridek me, Governor Matthew Marcos Manoto. Dahil to'y panangabak, Nikep, panangabak tayo amin. Nothing is more precious to me than my children. And no one is more beloved than our youngest son, Matthew. We give him to you as our next governor. Indeed, it will be a little bit different. Perhaps he will not have the big vision and all those fancy plans of his mom. But he will instead have the details, the working energy, and all the organization that will make those dreams come to pass. As they say in the capital, Sir Mata, Sir Mat na lang. Ayun nga. He may not have that same passion and conviction, but there will be a quiet and kind gentleness that will make certain everything gets done. He gets sa lahat, in that paspas duras, in that big push that I made with you toward development and progress, Matthew will instead make certain that no one is left behind. No one among the sick, the aged, or the physically challenged will be left behind. Sama-sama ang lahat sa kaunlaran at sa kalayaan mula sa kahirapan. Saan nyo kumaapanunutin na ibati kayo dito ay probinsya ta? Jack Tupulos, Aramidin day ta. At ang naktulat ta, dito ay mangkikita ka na kayo. Mangkuriro ijay kapitolyo, ken umay, makipagpaset no at a fiesta when no anyaman na okasyon. Awisen kayo, takanayon, takto, pasyaren, pasyaren ijay senado, tapno sa anak to ang maluksaw. Please visit me from time to time. Kailangan ko ng mga kakampi. It has been a joy and an honor to be your governor, the governor of the best little province in the country. Ibilang ko, ti panagbaling ko, a gobernadora, may siya, kadagiti gaming ko. Tadagiti, adal, ken naglabasan tayo, ket awan pulos, makaarta. Diyos unay, ti agdina, ti anos, panagayat, ken support tayo. Bago ang lahat, palakpak ang po natin, ang aking ina, ang ating ina na sa loob ng ilang araw lamang magna 90 years old na. It is my mom's 90th birthday which she chooses to celebrate with you. Sino ang magiging 90 years old sa atin na ganyan pa kaganda, ganyan pa kabait, ganyan pa rin ka matulungin sa bawat isa. Agdiag ni nanang ko, ni First Lady Imelda Romualdez Marcos, agdiag ni Baro na Gobernador 
Kenti Barong nga vice gobernador, diputado, vocales, may mayores, vice mayores, ken concejales. Agya ti Barong nga gobierno, ti probinsya tayo, Ilocos Norte. Agya tayo ang Once again, the world-renowned Sunny Way singers, singers for a medley of Ilocano songs.
Next for the whole opportunity are the members of Team Marcos. As well as our other guests, Consul Zhao Yubin, Secretary Mark Villar, Regional Director Romel Tan, COO Hindustan, Director Martin Valera, Congressman Elias Bullock Jr., Mayor Jeff Soriano, Police General Joel Ordunia, Brigadier General Henry Robinson, and Vice Mayor Elmer Datui. Our city and municipal mayors. 